Bowers game corner. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, another special Kickstarter review, and today I'm very excited for checking out Wibble Plus Plus by Stuff by Bez. This is for two to ten players. It'll take you two to forty-five minutes. Wow, it's kind of a crazy gap. And this is actually a deck of cards that are going to have letters on them, and you're going to be able to play numerous different games with this deck of cards. This is by Bez Sharari Yari, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his name, whose first game, uh, In a Bind, is one of my favorite light party games of all time. It's a game where you're using your body. This is where you're going to be using words and using letters. Well, I prefer to use my body. Sometimes I use my letters to get use my body. What am I talking about? Let's open it up and I'll tell you about the game. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what's turning inside of Wibble++. Plus Plus. Before we get started, I do want to mention this is the promotional copy in front of me, so take everything you see here with a grain of salt. So Wibble++ Plus Plus is going to be a, a deck of cards that are going to have letters on them, and each card is going to have two letters on it, like so, and then also a unique pattern around the background that uh, will match up from time to time, which uh, will impact a couple of the games. Only one that I'm going to be showing you right now. So, I'm going to be going over five of the different game modes that I was sent to try out. And then in the pros and cons, obviously, we'll be talking about them. So, the first one is Selectable. It's going to take you five minutes. It's for three to five players. It's a very simple drafting game. Each player is going to start off with nine cards. So, we'll just assume this is nine cards. And then everyone is going to draft one of these cards at the same time. Now, what you're doing, your end goal, is that once everyone has drafted eight cards, they're going to discard one of those cards, and then try to make a seven-letter word. Be the first person to make a seven-letter word using only one of the two cards on there. So you're going to have a big old stack of cards, and you're going to be trying to position them together to make a word. But once you get done drafting, what makes it more interesting is the fact that there's going to be three cards flipped over that are going to be a kitty that anyone will be able to use, but you have to swap out one of your cards to do so, which makes it really interesting because you might be looking for one specific letter and just hoping that, hey, maybe one of your opponents will swap it out. Uh, so that is the first game that is selectable, and the first person to get selected bell, the first person to get that seven letter word will be the winner of that game. Now, the next game we're going over is Wibble. And Wibble is going to take you 10 to 40 minutes. It's for three to seven players. And it's another very simple game, as you will see most of these games are. You are going to put the deck face down in front of everyone, and then you're going to turn two cards face up. And then as soon as you flip over that second card, everyone is going to be racing to try and make a word that has two of these letters on it. So one from this card and one from that card. So you might say uh, stuck because there's an S and there's a U. So if you are the first person to say one of those words, you're going to claim one of these cards as a victory point pretty much. It's going to go face up in front of you like so. And then you're going to flip over the next card. Now, since you have one point right here in front of you and no one else does, they still just have to create a word using one of these two letters and then one of these two letters together. You, however, have a, a slightly more difficult job because now you have to use one of these letters, one of these letters, and one of these letters in your word. And then if you get it, you'll put another one in front of you, one of the two in front of you. And uh, you're going to continue to do that until you have four cards in front of you, until you've actually got four cards in front of you, at which point you will take the two cards, two cards out of the middle, you'll take, so essentially you'll gain six points, you'll put them all face down, and then you will rinse, wash, and repeat. And you're going to do that until you run out of cards completely. Once you run out of cards, you're going to tally up however many face down cards you have, and whoever has the most points will be the winner of Wibble. So that is Wibble. The next game is going to be Phrasal, and this one is a little bit more of a party-ish game, even though quite a few of these are. This one is for 4 to 10 players, it's going to take about 15 to 30 minutes, and this is likewise a very similar game. What's going to happen is you're going to choose one person to be the first judge, and they're going to flip over one of the cards, and we have LT, so I'd say uh, San Diego Chargers. That would be my thing because LaDavion Tomlinson is what I think about it. It's whatever you want to think about it. Their example is OJ, it might be The Simpsons, it might be Orange Juice, it might be Murder, it might be uh, Jockey Jokes, whatever. So mine is San Diego Chargers for LT. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip over two cards like so. So we have S, G, A, F. And then everyone is going to try and make a four-word phrase that uses all four of these letters as an initials. 
And this is a fast and frantic game. So as soon as this pops up, people are going to start talking and start yelling at the judge like, Super goalies are fat or something. And that one actually doesn't make any sense at all. And the judge is just going to go until they, they get an answer that they are happy with. So you might try and make him laugh. You might try and make it uh, serious so it actually applies to the Chargers. But essentially, you're going to be looking at these four letters and trying to find four word combinations that actually make sense and that fit whatever topic they made up. And then once the judge hears ones that they like, they say, all right, you get the point. You gain all three cards. You become the new judge. And then you do that until the deck runs out. Very silly game, but that is Frazzle. Now, the next game we're going to be talking about is Grabble. And this one is a little bit different because all the cards are going to be face up, except for one that will be in the palm of everybody's hand. So I'm just going to set it up really quickly. Uh, I won't go too in-depth, but you will get a feel for how it works. We'll just set up, say, 10 cards right here. And then, so the all realistically, all the cards would be face up like this, except for one card that will be in the palm of your hand. And what's going to happen is you're going to flip the card over, and then everyone is going to be trying to match one of the two letters on your card or the background. So let's take a look. So I have this in the palm of my hand. We've started the game. I'm looking for an L. I'm looking for a T. Or I'm looking for this background. So you know what? I could take this one right here and bada boom. That matches my back. Oh, no, it wouldn't match my background. Oh, it just it's tricky. That does not match my background, which means at the end of the game, that would actually mean that I would get no points. So let's skip that one right there. And let's go ahead and grab... Uh, wow, this is a really terrible example. Let's put out two more cards, and then we'll get an L or a T. And then we'll get an L or a T, like I said. You know what? We're going to pretend that this has an L-Y instead of an I-Y. Uh, you know what? We're just going to start with this card. That's how we do it. So we start with an I-Y, then we say, all right... IW. So boom, the I matches that. And so now I'm looking for an I or a double. Look, I found another I. So now I'm looking for an I or a B or this background right here. So let's see, does this background match? That does. So you have to be very careful, but you're trying to match. Now what's eventually going to happen is that someone is going to slam their hand down. They'll say, grabble, at which point they will have locked up 10 points. Now everyone else at the table, this is a two to three minute game that is for two to seven players. Sorry, I forgot to mention that now has the choice. They can continue to look for cards because gaining cards is going to gain you victory points, or they can slam their hand down and they will gain 10 points as well uh, until only one person is left. Now the last person gets all these cards as victory points, which can be great. So they get all those as victory points, but everyone else is going to be getting 10 points in addition to the cards in their hand. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to pass the cards to the player on your left. They're going to make sure that you, in fact, did follow the order of operation, that you matched at least one letter or the background on all these cards. And if you did that successfully, you will get, uh, you'll get that number of victory points in addition to the 10 that you got for slamming down your hand. And if you're the last person, you will get however many cards in your hand and all the cards on the table as victory points. And whoever has the most points will be the winner of the game. That one is a very, very simple game. As I mentioned, two to three minutes, two to seven players, eight question mark. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. So the last game we're talking about is Alphabet Cell. So let me get these cards back so we can set it up and I'll show you exactly how this game works. This one is for uh, three to six players, seven question mark. It'll take about three to seven minutes. I have an old, old copy of the rules. Uh, I've had this for a couple months now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the deck face down between everyone. And you're gonna deal each player a card. Uh, placed faced up in front of them. So you're gonna do like that. Now what's gonna happen is, well, let's see, we got this, OF, OJ, SG, is you're going to flip over one card at a time. And when you see that card, you're either going to yell, take or pass. Now, the, the goal you're trying to do is you are trying to have nine cards in a row that are alphabetically in order. So you don't need to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P. You can have A, C, F, G, K, as long as they are in order. So let's just take a look at this. We flip this first one over, and it's an EP. So for us personally, this would be a fantastic card to get because LMNOP, so we'd say take as fast as we can. Likewise, this person would love to have this card 
because E is close to F, O is close to P, but let's just pretend that we got it. So it goes right here, or you can put it right there. You can never put a card in the middle. So the next card comes up. Let's just say we wanted to get that. We could not put it in the middle. You have to put it on one side or the other. Now, if two people yell pass, or if uh, two people yell take at the same time, the card just gets discarded. discarded. Also, if you ever take a card that you can't use, it won't work on this side or this side, you're going to flip it over, and that will be negative two points at the end of the game. Uh, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to get nine cards in order, and you can only have one of these cards be useful. So right now we have OP. Let's just say we took this and put it there. So now we are committed to this being OPR because obviously J is after E. So we have OPR, so let's see, the next one would be an NF, and this one eh, this is not really that good for us because we can't use the N over here, and the F, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, you know, there's quite a good distance, so we might let somebody else take this. Let's see a couple more cards. A, C, once again, this is a card we wouldn't want at all because we don't want to put an A or C here because you're trying to get nine in a row. But anywho, that is how Alphabet Cell is played, and that is how five of the uh, many games that are in Wibble Plus Plus are played. Alrighty then, Wibble Plus Plus from Stuff by Bez. Coming to a Kickstarter you very, very soon. I'll be sure to post the Kickstarter link down below. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. And I figure the best way to do this is to actually go through the five games that I talked about and give you my thoughts very honestly about each one. So the first one was Selectabel. That's the one where you're trying to build this, the, the drafting game. I really enjoyed this one. I was not expecting to like this one. I read through all the rules and this one was the one where I was like, eh, this looks pretty boring. But surprisingly, it's a really enjoyable brain burning game. Now I did like it on the lower player counts. In fact, I really liked it with two players. I wanted to test it out with my wife to see if it worked with two and it did. It was very difficult. It was about a five minute game where we were just sitting there trying to figure out that seven letter word because there's just so many letters in front of you and I liked it an awful lot. This is a nice, quick, light game, one that I really did enjoy. Selected Bell, definitely a thumbs up on that one. The next one is Wibble, which is actually what it's named for, so I'm assuming that's Bez's favorite game. Uh, this one was fun and enjoyable. I liked it. I liked how it worked that as you got more cards in front of you, it got more difficult for you, but other people could catch up. It's got a little bit of a catch-up AI thing there because if you're just trying to make a word with you know just the two cards there it's gonna be super simple whereas once you get three cards down there you've essentially got five cards that you have to be looking at and trying to figure out a word and I liked that aspect that everybody was always on a different playing field so uh, I, I enjoyed Wibble it's not my favorite one in there but it definitely is an enjoyable game Next, there was Phrasal. Now, this one was right up my alley. I love light, silly party games, and this one definitely fits that bill. This is the perfect have a couple beers and play this kind of game one, you know. And, and I love the fact that it just gets stranger and stranger. And I also, some people are really going to hate how the judging works in this game. How the fact that you don't get a designated turn where you say, you know, where you think of what you want to say and then say it. But I personally actually like that because people are just shouting stuff up and then just crazy stuff is just popping out of your head and you're, it's going out. And sometimes the stuff is crazy enough to actually work. And I liked it an awful lot. This game was a lot funner than it looks like uh, when I was reading it. Uh, Frazel is, is by itself a very enjoyable party game. Very silly. Highly recommend that one. The next one was Gravel, and this is the speed one, two to three minutes in which you're going to have the card on the palm of your hand. This one's a little bit difficult to explain, but it's a very simple game, and uh, I would say of the five, this was probably the weakest one for me. There definitely was some interesting aspects to it, uh, but really, you know, it, it might be because I was really terrible at it. Even as you saw in the middle part, I wasn't able to match up the symbols on the background and I found myself doing that consistently and it got to the point where I was like all right I'm gonna do this slower and when you're doing it slower you're gonna lose but I did like the aspect of everybody except for that last person is going to get the 10 bonus points but they get all the cards on the table so like you're trying to do some math to be like all right how many cards are on the table when should I slam my hand and that was interesting I think some people are gonna like this some of the people I played with obviously liked it but for me this was my weakest game out of the that it was able to try. 
Last but not least, there was Alpha Beta Cell, uh, the 3-7 to seven player. This is the one where you're trying to get the 9 cards in a row that are alphabetical. And this one worked for me to a certain degree. I liked it, and I enjoyed it, uh, but I think this one plays best with the higher player counts. And also, I wanted some rules clarifications, because it says if two people say pass, then, uh, then it goes away, but at the same time, that's I don't know it was a little bit weird for me I like the game and one thing I particularly liked about this game was the educational value of this game I actually brought this one into my classroom and I, and I played it with you know obviously I took away some of the point system took away the negative two point penalty and I played this with some four and five year olds and they really enjoyed the game it was a little bit above their head but as an educational tool for a kid that's starting to learn his letters and putting them in order I think this is a really fun and enjoyable game and uh, a great family game in that aspect. So, let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. Oh, we went over that. So on the con side, it is a system. None of these games by themselves are amazing and are going to wow you and you're going to play over and over again. Most, I would say for most people though. Uh, also, you know, it is just going to be a standard deck of cards, and there's only so much you can do with the deck. Now, I will say, for, for what they've done with this deck of cards, it's very impressive, because these games don't feel the same at all, which is a problem that you get with a lot of these gaming systems. So that one, I was very, uh, I was very happy about that. Uh, any other cons I have with it? Not much artwork on the cards, a very bare bones sort of thing, and if you don't like word games, it's not going to be for you. That's pretty simple. Uh, but moving on to the pros, Wibble++, Plus Plus, I was expecting to give this a preview because there's five games in this and most likely one of them was going to be a complete stinker and that did not happen. I actually enjoyed to a certain degree all the games and everyone I played with to a certain degree enjoyed all of the games. And I, I was just blown away at how different each game felt. We, we sat down and was like, alright, we're going to play a bunch of these, we're going to try them out and everybody was like, oh, word games. And I was like, wait, some of them are really short, some of them are really... None of them are long, which is always a good thing. And I feel like this is the perfect kind of filler game. Um, I'm trying to think of who this game would be best for because it's a, it's enjoyable and I'm definitely recommending this. This is the kind of thing where if you have a travel bag where you take games for non-gamers, this is exactly what you want. It is so simple. None of these games are hard to teach. Easy to learn, easy to teach. They're short, they're quick, they're sweet. They don't take up too much table space. I mean, the one that takes up the most table space is Gravel because you have to set out all the cards face uh, face up. But that's still not that much table space, which is a good thing. And, and I liked all the games for the most part. Um, really enjoy this one. Definitely a little bit on the odd side. And I feel like it's not going to be for everybody because it is a gaming system and none of the games are particularly amazing. But overall, of the five games that I got a chance to play, I definitely can recommend Wibble++. Plus Plus. We had a good deal of fun with it. I can't wait to get a final copy of the game. This is a great one to have just in your purse, in your book bag, something like that, as a nice little filler game thing. So that is Wibble++ Plus Plus from Stuff by Bez. Yet again, this is the second game that he's had me uh, check out. And yet again, it's just something a little bit different, a little bit quirky. But hey, I dig that. Check out the Kickstarter link below. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Thanks for your time, YouTube.